Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the advantages or disadvantages of having a home gym. So somebody just asked in the comments, they said, Jason, can you make a video on home gym stuff and whether, uh, like what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what are some of the things to consider? Aside from the obvious, uh, because a home gym can mean many things to many people. Some people, a home gym is nothing more than a chin-up bar and some push-ups in the living room and some sit-ups, right? In essence, that's kind of a home gym. It's just a matter of it's going to have certain limitations when it comes to accomplishing certain goals, especially when we're talking about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is about putting on strength and therefore strength endurance and therefore muscle mass, right? So uh, there are going to be some limitations depending on the extent of your home gym. So when I say home gym, I'm usually talking about having a squat cage and a bench press and maybe some dumbbells that you can do some uh, presses with and some lunges and all that sort of thing, uh, shoulder presses. Really the bare minimum requirement for a real gym at home, in my opinion, is a squat cage, bench press and some dumbbells. That's exactly what I would have. That's, that's really the beginning point when it comes down to weight training, uh, like a weight training based home gym. Now from there, you can expand quite a bit. You can get a lot of different type of cable pulley systems to attach to the squat rack. There's a lot of different companies out there that do that right now. I'm planning on getting something at some point in the future. I haven't decided on what company to work with or not. Uh, but basically it's pretty cheap. It's like a hundred to two hundred dollars and you can get like a, a cable attachment and you know, hook up a dumbbell and now you can do tricep press downs or some cable pulls or face pulls or even some seated, seated rows here and there. Now the advantage of training at home is, is obvious to most of us. Uh, first, you don't have to pay a gym membership, right? Because a gym membership is like renting the gym space. It's never paid off and the prices just keep going up or the memberships keep going up, right? Uh, so in a way, when you invest into a home gym, I mean, dumbbells, they last f almost forever. And barbells, I mean, 20, 30, 40 years, depending on how much weight you're lifting, but they live, they live a long life, you know what I'm saying? And a bench, I've had this bench for 12 years now. Yeah, about, about, about 12 years I've had it. And the squat rack too, and it's like, it just came off the showroom floor, even though I've been using it with heavy weights and, uh, and training quite a bit, you know, sweating on it and all that sort of th stuff, and, and everything's like new still. So the investment on a home gym pays off. It eventually pays itself off. Uh, for for the price of two or three thousand uh, dollars, you know, if you if you factor that into what it costs for a gym membership, which is usually around three three to five hundred dollars a year for a decent gym, uh, you know, this stuff's pretty much paid off after three or four years of training at home. So the main advantage of training at home is that you have time. When you're going to the gym, not only are you prone to have busy hours. Like say you work nine to five and then you're stuck going to the gym and then you're waiting for somebody to get off the equipment. You also have to commute there, which might be 10 minutes away, 20 minutes away, 30 minutes away. It just depends on how close you are to the gym. So the closest gym to me is about a 10 minute drive. And the only gym that I'd really want to train at is about a 30 minute drive. So not only does that put kilometers on the car, you pay for gas, it's also an hour out of your day gone. So training at home obviously saves you that time and therefore leeches less motivation or less, uh, let's just say less distraction from getting the workout in. Because you know if you have to drive a long way and then you have to you know, train for an hour, get there and back is about an hour, uh, and organizing that extra block of time can sometimes make it impossible for you to train that day. Maybe that is just too much time. You need to do other things, your work schedule, your family, like whatever it is that you got going on. So training at home makes it easy. You just step into your gym, start training, done. Like there's no, no commute, it's just instantaneous. Now, you can't do this at a public gym. No, because they're too cheap to get video games. Yeah, crappy public gyms. Don't understand, this is where the real muscle gains are made. Right here, right here, look at this. Shooting aliens. Shooting aliens is exactly how you get bigger biceps, bigger back, bigger ass, bigger muscles and legs. Shred body fat, look at this, I'm shredding up right now. Look, shooting off all the body fat. That can work against you sometimes because home can have its own form of distractions, especially if you work from home like I do and you start to work and do other things instead of actually train. So 
that that's kind of the disadvantage or sometimes maybe you have family that's constantly running in and out of your gym and you know you're getting distracted with uh, taking care of kids or whatever it is that you have going on at home but overall we could probably agree that your chance of getting your workout in is much more likely if it takes you less time to get to the gym and there's less inconvenience in actually getting in front of the dumbbells or the weights so that's one thing i love about the gym i, I can get in here during the day you know, play, I play some video games in the back in between sets or whatever. I use all my own little games and tricks to motivate myself to get through a workout on the days that it's not so fun. Because there are days that are fun. There are days that you're hitting PRs. There are days that everything is going well. And then there are days where everything isn't feeling well, but you're just moving through the process and trying to feel your way through what is the right thing for your body in that day. So that's, that's my main reason why I have a home gym and that's the main reason why I'm training at home now is because just time and uh, it's, it's less expensive in the long run and at the same time I am able to stick to my workouts more often because of the proximity instead of this constant commute. Now the advantage of going to a gym is the diversity of equipment. If you have a really great gym owner, not only are they fixing up the stuff all the time, but they're always introducing or moving around new things and introducing new things. And most of us don't have the square footage at home to support that type of scenario. I mean, sometimes just a, a, you know, something as simple as a leg extension machine can cost a thousand or two thousand dollars, right? So based on this, when you go to a gym, you get exposed not only to new machines or to new angles of attack or new cables and new types of things, uh, types of machines that help isolate certain muscle groups, but you also get exposed to people who sometimes will introduce new ways of doing things. You know, you always see the creeper across the room watching you train when you're doing something different than usual and they're watching you, you know, trying to find out what it is you're doing or why you're doing it, right? So because of this, the gym is great. I, I do believe that the gym is able to produce more results in the long run for most people if they don't know what they're doing because they're introduced and they're constantly in conversation with people and they're experimenting and sometimes they get a gym partner and that gym partner knows something that they don't know and, and maybe you know you know something that your gym partner doesn't know and there's this exchange of ideas and there's this community that's built so that's the other thing that is the advantage of the gym is that it's the advantage of community and I know you know the word community has really been under attack over the last couple of years because everybody's been separated and locked down and, and pushed in their own separate little houses but the truth is is that community can be a tremendous motivator for you to break through uh, you know, barriers in your own training or your own motivation. Sometimes going to the gym can be uh, more fun if you tell a few jokes in between sets and stuff. So if you're a social person, I think the gym would be a better place for you to be over the long run. It doesn't mean that uh, the equipment has to be better, but sometimes the community itself is actually what's motivating you to train. So you have to understand your own nature, understand your own psychology, like what is it that you really enjoy about training and what is it that motivates you to get in the gym because if you're getting in the gym whether it's a gym at home or whether it's a gym in the middle of the city if you're getting in the gym more often you're going to get more results it's really that simple uh, you know within reason of course getting bodybuilding gains is hard my favorite thing about the gym is really the community aspect where you can make friends Sometimes you don't get along with everybody, but there's usually one or two people that you may jive with and sometimes those friendships can go and extend beyond the gym. So that's really a great thing about working out in a gym itself. But the real advantage of training at home is that you get in the gym more often and because of the different types of equipment that are available now, it's never been easier for you to facilitate a great gym at home. Like I said with the cable machines and the dumbbells and barbells and the squat racks, all the stuff is not that expensive and uh, sometimes you can buy used stuff for really cheap because people are just looking to get rid of it because they're not using it so that's my main main thing about the gym now the main question you know any beginner would be asking is oh which one is best for results i'd say you can get just as good results in a home gym if you just know what type of equipment to get right if you, if you have the majority of the barbells and the dumbbells and the plates and the squat rack like you can do the major lifts and then you get something like auxiliary type equipment like the cable pulleys and maybe some you know elastic bands or whatever it is that you feel is, is great for isolating certain muscle groups i'd argue that you can get just as good results in a home gym as you could in going to a gym it's just a matter of what environment motivates you and what environment allows you to train more often and and that's really what i'd stick with uh, for me and for a lot of people who become advanced, they, they find that training at home just is easier. It's just less work. It's just 
saving time and then you can you know use that extra commute time for something else man fucking forearms are getting sore forearm gains but i still will train at the gym here and there just to freshen up uh my motivation sometimes there's this tribal sort of aspect to training that can be very fun this almost friendly competitiveness with other people in the gym that can really be a powerful motivator uh, especially for a lot of guys right i mean it's not the same posting on instagram or youtube as opposed to training right beside somebody and, and matching them rep for rep or competing with each other in an innocent sort of way i'm not saying like in an ego sort of way but basically saying hey you know you, you did this oh wow that motivates me to train hard too right it's almost like shared pain you know <laughs> when you're sharing pain with other people in a group sometimes it makes it easier for you to push through uh, certain barriers that might be your own so that's why i do like to go to the gym from time to time as well it's a social aspect as well as uh, it can be motivational sometimes when you look around and other people are training and, and they're basically feeding off each other it's almost like everybody's creating that physical energy and they're working off of each other for motivation i will do some reviews in here on home equipment if a company reaches out to me that is uh let's just say half decent uh, there's a lot of companies that reach out that want free advertising for a hula hoop, you know, like just stupid stuff like that. So it's like, I'm not going to do that. So, so anyway, <laughs> that's why you haven't seen too many reviews on here. It's just, uh, I get companies reaching out and they just reach out to everybody and they just want you to put their hula hoop thing up or whatever. And they give you a $20 item and then they want you to review it. It's like, no, I'd, first of all, I don't give free advertising. And second of all, I'm not going to review a stupid thing. That's just something I'd never use. So yeah, guys that are spamming me in the my inbox, stop it, unless you have something legitimate to show me or, or to, uh, to pitch to me, all right? Mountain. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I do have the link in the description of this video. And if you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com. And thanks to the Patreon supporters, and take care for now. Chocolate.